thing because you know like you said last year they were saying the same thing and so all last year they the sign came up you cannot use the site if you're an american citizen but i went on in anyway without you know a vpn number right. now it's saying that you know we're not we cut shutting the site down period in january to to the united states like, to the united states people or to everybody to the United States. So let me let me tell you what's going on. Oh, let me tell you what's going on, right? Because we really need to be in complete understanding about what's going on and, and what's rolling out right now. All right? They, now they've already they ploying a lot of these are attacks. These websites and stuff that go up, they, these are attacks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every time we see a new hype program come up, that's an attack. Okay, this is war yeah. going on. This is mm -hmm. war going on. It's an attack. We don't know it's an attack on the monetary yeah. system. It's an attack on your Bitcoin wallet. You know what I'm saying? Because we still we swindling Bitcoin out of people and everything. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, when they put these when they put these things up, these are these are attacks. So what's gonna happen is people are gonna have to arm themselves for battle. They, need to be live. they, they mm. need to arm themselves for battle. Let me tell you how they arm themselves for battle, right? They arm themselves for battle by taking their existing all right, business. All right, when you know you know they went from brick and mortar, then they had to get online, right? Now they got to get from now they got to transition from online to a blockchain based social media press, not social media present, but website. You got to have a, a, a that's going to that's going to completely protect you against all of these attacks. Uh, it's going to keep everything open source, decentralized in fashion, and uh and 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 again, like I'm saying, it's it's protecting you. So. All of these programs and stuff, if it's not on the blockchain, man, if it, it, it's, it's, it's threatening to go down. It's just threatening to go down, man. So they really just, they yeah. really, they really forcing everybody because, again, well, I got to make sure I keep my train of thought because these are attacks, man. They going to force the people, they, they're going to force the people mm -hmm. to, um, mm -hmm. Dang, they're going to force you to do something, man. They're going to force you to use these VPNs because they're going to, they gonna, you know, they ain't going to be able to, they ain't going to be able to operate. They're going to be up under scrutiny. So they're going to, they, they going to, that mean they got to check their logs and everything. They're going to have to turn in their logs and everything. So that mean when they turn in their logs, it better not be no U.S. IP address on them. Mm. So this, uh -oh. so this is what I'm saying, right? These people now are gonna have to re redesign these sites, refit their sites so that they are IP intelligent, IP address intelligent. You know, so they they, they got to get more sophisticated. These sites got to get more and more sophisticated. You, we we seen this, we seen the world go from just websites to e-commerce sites. Now where pretty much all of the sites come pre-packed with with carts. You know, payment cards and stuff like that. Payment processes and stuff are already on them. All right. Well, those are those are those are those are centralized entities. All it's all it's a whole centralized deal. It's on a server. The payment processes are centralized. You know, it's all that old way of doing things. Right? There's new way of doing things with these smart contracts. All right. Or and these um you know decentralized payment processes attached to these smart contracts. Um, is is um, man, it's really it's really introducing some whole other stuff that's gonna really, man, it's really gonna change the way the world. So anyway, yeah, they gotta they gonna have to um, they gonna know the IP addresses. Ain't no just going in like that. And you gotta be and you gotta know how to move. If you don't know how to move, you are gonna really become enslaved by this new system. Mm -hmm. They're gonna enslave mm. the system, and it's it might it, it may it's seeming like it's sounding like to me, like Bitcoin is gonna enslave the people, man. And so the alternative to that is not only you know altcoins all together, but Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash mm. alternative to this because again they saying if if. They that segregated witness, they saying it's allowing for a special um I forget how to explain it, but it, it gives you a technological a technological approach that 
it's not really being verified. Your funds can be spendable by anybody. You know, so if yeah. your funds are not spendable by anybody, it's not really like the integrity of the system is like, it's compromised. Yeah. You know, and then on, on top of that, they say that, you know, you kind of, they kind of like giving the power to the, um, the miners. And well, if you control all of the miners, all right, or or you got the you got the power to extort the miners into making a decision that you want them to make. Then that's kind of like that's yeah, that's a faulty system. That's a faulty setup. But uh, anyway, man, I got this. What's the name up right here? You, you know what I'm saying? When you said that shit is a scam, I already knew what time it was. But right. guess what? It, it, you know, see, like all these haters, man. I don't know where they come from, but they are. That's some bullshit, man. That's that's crazy. They are, they're talking bullshit.